should be in two. One. Do we have video of this
the Balkans are renowned for the division that's been caused by man's greed and by man's inability to get on with each other. But Lord Jesus, you've broken all that down on the cross. And we pray that you will reunite your people here in this part of the world. Lord, we pray that the blood of Jesus will bring people back together. That in being together, your church will be strong. That your people will love one another. That those on the outside will look and see how Christians love one another and be drawn to you. Father, we thank you that you want this nation of Croatia to be strong in you. You want your people to march together to take the gates of hell, to be strong and victorious. Father, we pray for a church that sees the glorious Lord Jesus, the victorious Lord Jesus, who conquered sin and death and hell, and you are our Lord. Father, we pray for people who can see that in their spirits and respond to your power of work within them. Chapter 
22, and I'm going to start around verse 15. Um, and there's this king, okay, his name is Balak. He says, once again, Balak sent princes more number and more honorable than these. And they came to Balaam and said to him, Thus says Balak, the son of Zippor, Let nothing hinder you from coming to me, for I will surely do you great honor. And whatever you say to me, I will do. Come, curse this people for me. Now, this, this king is wanting Balaam to come curse the people of God. Just doesn't like them. But Balaam answered and said to the servants of Balak, Though Balak were to give me his house full of silver and gold, I could not go because the command of the Lord my God to, to do less or more. So you two, please stay here tonight, that I may know more the Lord will say to me. And God came to Balaam that night and said to him, If the men have come to call you, rise, go with them. But only do what I say. So Balaam rose in the morning and saddled his donkey and went with the princess of Moab. Okay, you guys ready? All right. You are? Awesome. Okay. But God's anger was kindled because Balaam went. And the angel of the Lord took his stand in the way as his adversary. Now Balaam was riding on his donkey. <laughs> you, can just, you can just lead him by the arm. Okay. Now he was riding on the donkey, and his two servants were with him. And the donkey saw the angel of the Lord. Go out this way.
Behold, I have come. To oppose you because of your way. To oppose you because your way. To oppose you because Because your way is wrong before me. The donkey saw me and turned aside. Alright. So the angels say, the donkey saw me and turned aside from me three times. And if the donkey had not turned aside from me, surely. Just now, I would have killed you and let the donkey live. Do you see what's going on here? Um, then Balaam said to the angel of the Lord, I have sinned. I did not know that you stood there. Now, if it is evil in your sight, I will turn back. And the angel of the Lord said to Balaam, Go with the men. But only speak what I tell you. So Balaam went on with the princes of Balak. When Balaam heard that Balaam had come, he went out to meet him in the city of Moab on the border formed by Arnon, at the extremity of the border. And Balak said to Balaam, Did I not send you to call you? Why do you not come to me? Am I not able to honor you? And Balaam said to Balak, Behold, I have come to you. Have I now any power of my own to speak anything? The word that God puts in my mouth is the word that I must speak. Then Balaam went with Balak, and they went to the kingdom. And Balak sacrificed oxen and sheep, and sent for Balaam for the princes who were with him. And in the morning, Balaam, Balak took Balaam and brought him up to... These five words are real fun. Bamoth Baal. And from there, he saw a fraction of the people. All right, let's give our actors. Y'all, this was in the Bible. In here. Where are these talking donkeys come from? Where do these angels come from that only appear to donkeys and not to men? Alright. 
choices. Don't be afraid to be that donkey and lay down. Lay down in front of your friend. Jesus did it for us. So let's pray. Gracious and holy God, we thank you so much for allowing us to be here today. We 
thank you for putting the people in our lives that you have and for giving us this wonderful book of the Bible that has these crazy stories about talking donkeys and, you know, invisible angels. And we just ask you that you help us to actually desire to know your word, to read your word and find joy and find truth in it and become closer to you through that. We ask that you give us the courage to make the right choices so that we always see you. And we ask that you give us the courage to sometimes lay down before our friends so that they can see God as clearly as we do. Be with us as we leave this place, as we finish out our school day and the rest of the week. We love you so much, and we're so thankful for the all that you give us. In your name we pray. Amen.